Hi, welcome, bienvenidos. It's your girl Yessi, and I'm back with another video. Today is going to be a long one. It's going to be a full phase of all my recent purchases. So, some of these products I have shown, some of them I have not. So, if you're interested, grab a snack and let's get started. Alrighty, so for today's full face, um, I have, mo they're mostly new, but some, like my foundation and other things I have had before, um, but some of the new products that I'm going to be using is this um, Urban Decay Naked Cyber Palette, haven't used that, um, I've also bought the Juvia's Place Bronzed Bronze, in medium I bought this haven't used it um, I've also bought the hourglass face palette in um, universe unlocked which is this right here having used it so we're gonna be using it today um, I also bought the elf putty blush and bronzer which they're not new but they're new to me um, and I've bought them but I haven't used them so I also bought the Morphe Sour Patch Kit um, Setting Mist, haven't used that. Um, and I also bought the Juvia's Place I Live I Love um, 12 Piece Pro Essential Brush Set for face and eyes, which looks like this. Can we take a second to appreciate this beautiful packaging? It's so beautiful. It has a little ribbon at the top so you can pull it up which I thought it was pretty neat and here are all the brushes so we're going to be using these brushes in today's um tutorial full face of glam whatever you want to call it so yeah these are really pretty um wow okay so it says I live I love by Juvia's does it right here on the handle and um, it's like a ombre effect from a teal blue to a red with the um, gold handle the brushes are pretty soft um, the only thing is they don't have the names on it so it's gonna be a little hard to explain what brush I'm using however I am going to be using this and if I'm not using this brush set I'll make sure to let you know what other brush I'm using so now that I introduce some of the new products that we're going to be using why don't we just jump in right alrighty so first thing first I like to start with my brows and for brows I don't really have a new product I don't tend to really um, experiment or try new different products with eyebrows because eyebrows are eyebrows they're not my favorite so and I like what I like so to outline my eyebrows I'm gonna start with the Anastasia brow is in ebony and then I'm gonna fill it in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills um, brow powder duo in ebony as well um, the only thing I'm going to be really testing out, but it's going to be more towards the end, is going to be the NYX Brow Glue, I think that's what it's called. So they kind of look symmetrical. <laughs> Um, so yeah, now I'm going to go in with my, um, brow powder in ebony. So I usually take the darkest powder and use it towards the tail of my eyebrow. And then I'll take the lighter shade and then I'll use that for this, um, to the front of the brow. That makes any sense. All 
All right, eyebrows are they're pretty, they're okay. Um, I'm I'm gonna fix them up if they need to be fixed towards the end, just because sometimes my foundation or my powders get in my brows. So we're gonna touch them up towards the end of the video. So um, next, I'm going to prime the lids. Well, actually, carve the bottom of my eyebrow and then prime the lids and for that I'm going to be using the MAC paint pot in soft ochre and I'm going to be using this Juvia's Place this is from a different brush set I think this is her this came in a brush set and this is way back when when Juvia's Place started so yeah I love this brush to carve out my eyebrows so that's what I'm going to be using today All right, from the same brush set, um, there's this, um, I have no idea what this brush is called because again, they don't have names, but it's like a dome um, concealer brush. And I'm gonna use a little bit more of the Paint Pot Soft Ochre to apply that all over the lid, just to get the eyelids ready for when we go in with the powders eyeshadow powders that's that now we're gonna go in with the urban decay naked cyber palette um i bought this because i'm intrigued and i have all the naked palettes but i didn't hear a lot of good reviews on this palette and this is what it looks like it has a very futuristic um case packaging and this is what that looks like it comes with a brush as well so actually let me take the brush out but this is what it looks like these are the colors right here very beautiful um, they're pretty light and I and this was one of the complaints about this palette that's too light I wear light colors on a daily basis for work so yeah let's see what the hype is all about this palette first things first I am going to go with again another brush from that first brush set from Juvia's Place it's a big sh a humongous shader brush you've seen it in a couple of my um, tutorials but um, I'm going to go in with this color called AI, this one right here, and I'm going to apply that to the brow bone right here. Actually, I'm going to apply this all over because why not, right? It's not shimmery, but it looks pretty shimmery on the lid. All right, so now I am going to grab a blending brush from the I Live I Love by Juvia's Place brush set, and I I kind of want to do a pinky look. All right, so I am going to go in with Gadget, which is this matte color right here. So this pink right here. I'm gonna go in with that color and I'm gonna apply it all over the crease. Um, next, I am going to apply my glitter glue um, to the lid because I'm gonna go in with one of the shimmers and I'm gonna be using the Too Faced glitter glue. I'm just going to apply the tiniest bit to the lid, all over the lid, because we're going to keep it simple today on the eyes. We're just going to apply a one shimmer shade all over the lid and call it a day. All right. Now I'm going to go in with the color Call IT which is this color right here 
and I'm just going to grab it with my finger and apply it all over the lid. <laughs> they were not kidding when they said that this palette's pretty light. <laughs> Alright, now I'm going to go in with the crease color called Gadget and I'm just going to go over these lines to blend those two colors out. Just gonna apply the tiniest bit to this outer part right here. I wish they had a, another darker matte um, because they have bite this color right here, but it's orange and it's it seems dark in the pan. And I don't want I don't want to I want to keep it light. I should say I don't want to go that dark. So okay. So that's what we got going on for the eyes. Um, I'm not going to do anything else. Now I'm just going to apply my um, liner. And for that I'm going to go in with the Essence Super Precise Eyeliner. Which looks like this. All right, so I'm gonna leave the eyes alone. Um, I like what I have going on so far. Okay, now we're gonna go to the complexion. For the complexion, I'm gonna be using this Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water for the face. I'm gonna use this before going in with the primer. I'm gonna spray that all over. I love this because I feel like it keeps my skin hydrated throughout the day like I love this I stopped using this for a while but you know I try to like use up my products so I've been using it and I love it I really do so we're gonna let that sit for a little bit and then we're gonna go in with the Tatcha the liquid silk canvas um, I also love this. This is really nice. Um, it's pretty expensive. So once I'm done with this, I don't think I'm going to repurchase it just because I feel like the drugstore has some really good um, primers. But I do like it though. I really do but I think this is like somewhere in the 40s and that's pretty expensive for a primer um, so yes all right now I am going to go in with the elf camo CC concealer oh my god when this first came out I was loving it loving it and then I got into a different foundation but um, I recently um, pulled this out and nothing has changed I love it so much I am using it the medium 330 W so I'm just gonna apply that to my beauty blender this is the elf um, total sponge I think that's what it's called total sponge beauty sponge but I'm just gonna I put some on the sponge and I'm just gonna apply that to the face this is only six dollars but I mean like it provides such good coverage I was in shock to see how lightweight how full coverage this is like yes elf come through like look at that I think it looks so good I love this like looks good looks really good and I'm almost to the top I'm gonna have to um, repurchase this soon because I just love it for like an everyday 
granted if you don't powder this it's gonna rub off throughout the day I have to powder because if not your girl looks like I just rubbed baby oil all over my face that ain't cute <laughs> that is not the vibe we're going for but just look how beautiful this foundation looks it evened out everything now I can go another layer and provide more coverage but I'm okay with this I like when my skin kind of um, peeks through love that so I'm okay with this and because we're light on the eyes as well I don't feel like I have to have like a full um, coverage at the moment so next I'm gonna be using another elf product and this one is the elf hydrating camel concealer this concealer OMG this is the bomb this concealer is the bomb so I've always been a ride or die for the um, Tarte Shape Tape um, the regular one love that love the, the full coverage that it that, that it has on the skin but you know I'm getting up there in age and it was a little bit drying and I didn't like that but when they came out with the hydrating one that became my new favorite now this one is just like that one but I think even better I think this is more hydrating than that one and um, and, and I feel like it's a pretty on dupe for the Tarte um, hydrating concealer but this is only six dollars the other one is I think I believe it's 29 so I mean I have backups of that concealer but when I'm done using up all those concealers I'm definitely gonna be repurchasing that this um, concealer because it's just that good these are all the places that I like to highlight so I'm gonna let that sit for a little bit in the meantime I am going to go in with the elf putty bronzer and I got mine in golden days I still have the packaging here but let's see this is what this color is looking like right here beautiful brown and I am going to I think I'm going to use one of my brushes because this one doesn't have a small dome brush so I'm just going to grab some of the product I hope it's picking it up and I'm just going to apply that to up here to my cheekbones and I've always liked, I know cream bronzers and cream everything is has been a thing recently, but I've always enjoyed, uh, actually, I don't even know why I'm using this brush because I bought, oh my goodness, I bought the e.l.f., um, what's it called, the Complexion Dual, this brush over here. This is supposed to be a dupe for that, um... A cosmetics brush that I don't have so I don't know but figure I tell you but I bought this for this so I'm gonna use it grab a little bit but like I was saying I've always been into cream bro um, bronzers just because I feel like it makes a difference in your makeup like with longevity I feel like it lasts so much if you if you do um, use a, a cream bronzer before your powders, your makeup will stay. That's that so far. I'm going to go in and blend that concealer. I feel if you let your concealer sit for a little bit, it will provide more coverage. Right now I'm using the, another sponge 
um, from e.l.f. and this is the camel concealer sponge and this is nice for um, this inner corner right here it fits perfectly okay so before we set that I'm just gonna go in with some of that bronzer on my nose because I want to contour it so I'm just going to go in with the other side of that brush. I'm going to grab a little bit. And I'm going to take, I'm going to draw two lines right here. All the way up to this part of my eyebrow. Kind of connecting them. And remember, the closer your lines are, the more skinnier your nose is going to look. And the more... Um, far apart your nose lines are is how wide it's gonna be so I don't try to make it any skinnier or wider I kind of just go with the lines that I already have because I feel like it fits my face just add some bronzer down here and then I'm gonna go in with um, my sponge again with that excess foundation to try and blend the, these lines out a little bit more okay so I like that these are really nice I like how easily they blend out now I'm gonna go in with the elf putty blush and this is in Turks and Caicos I think I'm gonna use the same brush and I'm going to apply just the tiniest bit because I'm not sure if these are pigmented. I'm sure they are. But. And I'm going to smile and apply them to the cheeks. Oh, that's a pretty color. And I think it looks really nice with this look. I'm just going to grab a little bit more. That looks so pretty gives you like a nice healthy glow okay elf come through oh that looks so lovely that looks really beautiful actually all right i'm gonna go in with that um camel concealer sponge again i want to try and blend this out all right, so now I'm gonna go in with uh, the powder. I'm gonna be using the Derma Blend Loose Setting Powder, and this is in Translucent. I love this powder. The only thing I don't like is how messy it is. This powder goes everywhere, but I do love it. I love it for sure. <laughs> I feel like it blurs my skin. So I'm gonna be using this sponge and I'm just gonna um, set the under eye with the sponge because I like um, how the sponge sets the powder under my eyes so I like that I feel like it leaves it so nice and smooth I'm going here I'm also gonna go in the nose area we have to set up the, the nose because I guess so oily. Oh my gosh. All right. So now, so that looks really nice. Um, now I th I'm going to go in with the Hourglass Face Palette in Universe Unlocked, which looks like this. This is... This is the first time ever that I think Hourglass comes out with a light and a dark version for the face palette. Um, this is how that looks like. And um, yeah, I'm not sure. I'm going to go in with my Eco Tools Precision Powder. It looks like this. And I'm going to go in with this bronzer called bronzer radiant bronze light um which is this one right here and i'm just gonna contour not contour bronze i'm not really bronzing today 
so I don't think this palette this palette is gonna work for um, darker complexions because I mean it's it's showing up on my skin but I feel like it's not like very pigmented let's not forget the chin the double chin <laughs> at least my double chin and I'm just gonna use a little bit of that powder for the nose right there all right now I'm gonna go in with the blush I think I'm gonna use this lighter one the, the pink one which is called blush coral flush which is this one right here I'm gonna use that for the cheeks Ooh, that's really pretty and I feel like it goes really nicely with the eye look we got going on over here yeah that's pretty very pretty all right um, next I'm gonna go in with a highlighter brush and I'm gonna be using the Morphe N501 brush and this highlighter is called strobe powder solar strobe light which is this color right here and I'm gonna highlight oh that's pretty all right so now I think I'm going to go in with the powder brush, which I think is this one. So this is the Finishing Powder Radiant Light, which is this one right here. I'm not sure how dark it's going to be, and I'm going to go in with the I Live I Love by Juvia's Place. I'm just going to add it here just because... I don't want to be all glowy. So it leaves a nice, um, like a nice, um, glow to the face. So if, I don't know how this is going to work because I'm oily. So, I don't know. I mean, it's pretty, but I don't know. We shall see. I feel like I want to go in with another bronzer. I'm, I'm going to go in with the Juvia's Place Bronze in Medium, which looks like this right here. And I think I'm just going to use both colors. I'm going to dip into both colors. That's pretty. Loving that. Okay. All right. So now I'm going to go in with the setting spray. And I'm going to be using this Morphe Sour Patch Kids. And I've never used the Morphe setting spray, so we'll see. Wow. Oh my god, it smells just like um, the Sour Patch Watermelon Slices. Oh my goodness, it smells so good. Wow. I'm going to go in with my uh, beauty blender, pat that in. Okay, so this is what we got going on so far. Um, I'm going to finish the eyes and I'm going to use this um, pencil brush from the I Live I Love by Juvia's Place and I'm just gonna go in with that pink color we went on the crease and this is called Gadget and I'm gonna apply that here I'm gonna go in with the highlighter in the face palette from Hourglass and I'm just gonna apply that to the inner part right here there we go okay that's much better I'm also gonna go in with this NYX can't stop won't stop powder 
mattifying powder and medium right here and I'm just gonna apply this right here because I don't like to I'm oily right here very oily and because I want to brighten this up a little bit more so I'm gonna powder up just a little bit more I mean the center of my face Because I feel like I'm looking a little bit glowy and I get oily real quick throughout the day. So I want to make sure that I stay up. Okay, so I think I'm pretty done. I'm just going to go in with the NYX The Brow Glue, this little thing right here. I'm gonna apply that to my eyebrow. How wow, how cute is this? This little spoolie is so tiny. So I'm gonna just go over that. Go over my brows with this. Wow, I really like this brush. So nice, so tiny. And my eyebrows are pretty thin, so this is a win for me. Yeah, I'm not going to apply lashes. I'm just going to do my mascara. So I'm going to curl them. I'm going to curl them. And then we're going to call it a day. Oh, and add lips too. I'm going to go in with my L'Oreal um, primer and the Voluminous Original Black. So... Alright, um, now I'm going to go in with um, this L'Oreal Infallible Eyeliner and I'm going to go with the color Nude in my waterline just to brighten the, brighten the eye. Okay, I don't typically... Um, add mascara to my lower lash line so I'm not gonna do that um, and then for lips I'm gonna go in with the Morphe Sweet Tea lip liner and the Maybelline um, cream in 177 bare reveal is just a nice peachy nude so I'm just gonna outline the lips and this has been my go-to so this is the final look so yeah um, let's get into some mini reviews so starting with the eyeshadow palette um, this palette even though it's nice love the packaging very pretty um, the shadows are pretty light and um, I feel very underwhelmed, especially, you know, when I used, I, I mean, I only used two of these colors, but I was very underwhelmed. Um, I had to build up the color in order for it to show. So it might be too light for my liking. Um, so I'm not sure that's going to be a favorite. Um, the Hourglass Ambient Face Palette, this is the darker uh version and it's called the universe unlocked um these are pretty they pack a punch um but the bronzer seems pretty light um i felt like it showed up on my face but i had to build it up so i'm not sure if my um darker complexion um girlies out there are going to be able to use this because it's barely showing up on mine um what else did i use i used the juvia's um, bronzer and I thought this was pretty neat um, so I'm excited to be using that the elf camel concealer sponge I love it was pretty soft and it's pretty good for the inner corner to get into these like 
um, inner corner part. The Morphe setting spray, loved it. It smelled just like the Sour Patches, the watermelon ones. Loved it. Um, I loved this setting powder. It, it definitely mattified this part right here and it brightened a little bit. Um, so I'm excited to see if it's going to hold up. What else did I use? Oh, the brushes. Um, so the brushes that I did use weren't many, um, but I did like them. Um, these were pretty soft, so I'm excited to use the rest um, on, on a different occasion. So yeah, I think. Oh, and the e.l.f. putty bronzer and the blush, I think they were so good. They blended out seamlessly. And they do pack a punch. So I love that. Um, yeah, I'm so happy to see Elf coming through with all these new... Um, I'm just so happy to see Elf, you know, improving their formulas. Um, I could definitely see myself using these. And then the NYX, the brow glue. This is pretty cool. It's really tiny. It's perfect for my little eyebrows. So um, I'm excited to keep using this. I hope it holds up, which I'm sure it will. But yeah, those are all the new things that I was trying out in this video. Um, so yeah, I'm pretty excited to keep using it, except for the eyeshadow palette. But yeah. Anywho, I really hope you enjoyed today's um, full face of recent purchases. And yeah, I'll catch you on the next one. Bye.